Hi everyone, today we're talking about intraventricular hemorrhage in the neonate. Uh, what is it and what steps can we take to help our patient from even developing this? Starting right now. Hi everyone, today we're talking about intraventricular hemorrhage in the neonate. Now, know that this usually occurs in uh, premature babies uh, and they're under three pounds in weight. What is it? Well, it's a culprit of the uh, Germania matrix. And the Germania matrix is a very vascular, rich in blood supply, yet very fragile capillary bed that lies uh, underneath the left and right ventricles in the brain. Anything that disrupts this uh, fragile capillary bed can cause it to bleed. Trauma, uh, abrupt changes in blood pressure, um, abrupt changes in PO2 and PCO2, uh, they're very fragile. If they start to bleed, they start to bleed into the ventricle area. And there's five different grades of this hemorrhage. One, uh, it's just focused right in the area of the bleed, the germanial matrix right there. Grade two would be it's bleeding from there, but now it's leaking out into the intraventricular area uh, in the brain. A grade three would be that it's bleeding and now it's causing pressure and a shift in the brain structures. Uh, very, very bad. And then uh, the fourth would be uh, an intraparenchymal bleed. The pressure has gotten so big uh, that the bleeding has now become intraparenchymal into the brain matter itself. So these bleeds really can go from no big deal, no sequelae, no adverse effects at all, all the way to catastrophic neural deficits. Uh, so it all depends on the size of the bleed. So what can we do uh, as practitioners to help minimize this very fragile vasculature? Uh, how do we keep it from start to bleed? One, when you're moving the patients, be very gentle. Always log roll this patient. You would never move the infant's neck like this. You would always log roll them. When you position them, you can position midline, but not prone. Uh, just a little to the lateral, to the left or to the right. Uh, we do not want this infant to become Trendelenburg. So the head can be up, but no more than 30 degrees. And again, prevent Trendelenburg, which means when we're changing the deities or doing anything like this, uh, the head is always above the legs when we're pre performing uh, perigenital cleaning or things like that. Again, the head is above the legs. Next, preventing hyperthermia. Our target is 36.5 to 37 degrees. Uh, we're gonna monitor this kid's temperature with again a skin probe, uh, appropriate temperature uh, monitoring device. Again, we wanna prevent hyperthermia 